Habiba Sarabi could be Afghanistan's first female vice president. She's the most prominent woman running on a ticket in the April 5th elections to choose a successor to current president Hamid Karzai. Sarabi's bid is part of an effort to get women voting and start what she calls a political transition. This is a strong message for the, for the women that they have to uh, uh, use their vote in the right direction that they want. Afghan women were granted the right to vote in 2001, under the constitution adopted after the U.S.-led coalition toppled the Taliban regime. But their participation has been marred in past elections by cultural obstacles, such as male relatives who voted for them with proxy ballots, and in some parts, threats of violence. Every single Afghan woman has the right to get her voting card, so we're not scared of anything to get our voting cards. Awareness of how to vote for women still remains an issue, even in the country's capital of Kabul, where some women are still not registered to vote. No one guided us, and we haven't got voting cards. If we could get our cards, we could do our part in making the government. Efforts like Sarabi's aim to make women aware of their right to vote. Salim Saeed, Associated Press.